The heart and soul of the FPC is made up in these 16 little pads. Actually, there is two banks of 16 pads for a total of 32 pads in which can hold either a single or multiple sample. Each pad will have its own set of parameters that can be used to adjust the characteristic of the samples loaded on the pad. But before we can dive into tweaking these parameters, we must first select the pad we wish to edit. There are a few ways to do this. The simplest method is to click on the pad itself that you wish to edit. However, if you are unsure which pad is which, it might be easier to select the pad from the pad menu, and the pads are listed by their name. Lastly, you can use the pad scroll arrows to scroll through the various pads. Perhaps the fastest way to get up and running with FPC is to use one of the pre-built kits from the content library, which we'll take a look at later on. But perhaps you have a whack of samples and you want to build your own kit. You can do this by importing your samples to the pad, which is easy to do. Once you have your desired pad that you wish to load the sample into, click on the small folder icon in the sample window. You'll be presented with an open file dialog window. Navigate and open your desired sample. That's all there is to it, fast and simple. If you are looking to get creative with your sample and wish to have it played in reverse, simply click on the right arrow icon in the sample window to reverse it. Remember to check that you have selected the correct pad before making any changes. One of the many cool features with FPC is that it allows you to save presets on a per pad level. So if you have made some changes to the parameters of a pad and wish to save them so that you can apply them to another pad later on, well you can. To save a pad preset, simply click on the pad menu and select save preset. You'll be prompted with a save as dialog window. Navigate to the location you wish to save your preset and click save. To load a pad preset from the desired destination pad, click on the small folder icon. You'll be prompted this time with an open file dialog. Again, navigate to the preset file you wish to load and click open. You can also load a preset using the load preset option from the pad menu. When you are looking at 16 pads, it might get confusing to remember which pad is which. Luckily, you can apply a specific name to each pad. To do this, right click on the pad name field above the pads to the left of the instrument. After clicking on it, you'll be presented with a text field where you can type in the desired name. Pressing enter will apply the change. As mentioned earlier, there are 32 pads in total in two banks of 16, which are labeled Bank A and Bank B. To select one of the banks, simply use the Bank Selection button under the pads. So in this video, we had a quick look at working with the pads in FPC. Join us in the next video, where we'll cover working with the content library to load drum kits as well as importing and using MIDI loops.